Well, hello, Cancer. This is Dawn Priolette of DawnPriolette.com, and I am here to do your monthly love tarot reading. And this month, as a bonus, I'm also going to be doing a reading for your work and your career and your money. So, uh, love and money are always very, very related. You have a relationship with money, just like you have relationships with people. So, we're going to look at both of those today. And this is going to be um, from April 10th to May 10th. Okay, so, the first card up, this is kind of a passing energy. It's the Ten of Staves, and it came up in the reverse. And what I'm feeling with that, Cancer, is that you have been working awfully hard in your relationship, and it's time to stop. This is one of the biggest mistakes that women especially make in relationships is we give and give and give and give and give. And we think that that's how you, you get a man and keep a man, and actually that's what drives him running in the opposite direction. He wants to give to you. It's time to stop. It's time to relax and let him row the boat for a while. He should be rowing the boat, not you. Now, if you're married, I do realize that, you know, uh, when you're married, living together, um, you know, there are certain things that you, of course, do need to do, but make sure that you're not overdoing and then feeling resentful about it. So the next card up, this is kind of in the position of where you are now, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, what I'm feeling is kind of a victim energy around this whole situation. Like, you're feeling like a victim. You are already feeling resentful and hurt. And, um, you know, this relationship feels too much like, too much like work. And, but they're saying that this is a victim energy. You need to look at your your responsibility here. What are you not doing? What are how are you not uh, communicating your needs about what you want? Not criticizing or complaining about it, but really communicating from your heart. Now the Ace of Cups again. This is in the near future. The Ace of Cups, uh, when it's upright, this is an offer of love. This is love flowing into your life. But it's reversed. It's like you can't even feel the love. You're not feeling love around you. So what I would suggest for you, Cancer, if you need to um, take a break, do something just for yourself, this would this would really help the situation because you're like really overgiving here and sometimes you need to extricate yourself from the situation just to regroup so maybe go away for the weekend hang out with your friends um, spend some time with yourself and um, doing things that are enjoyable for you and start thinking about, you know, what it is that you really want in the relationship and how you might be able to negotiate more with your partner about um, who does what in the household. And maybe you might even need to hire outside help in order to get some things done so that you're not running around like a chicken with your head cut off trying to get everything done and then feeling resentful about it because it's going to destroy your relationship. So, you know, please
please take that time for yourself and get clear about what it is you want and what it is you need. Now, with that said, I'm going to move these cards and we're going to do a spread. Just, I'm going to pull a few cards on your work situation right now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I pulled three cards, so that's not going to work. Um, first card. That's actually a good card to have in reverse. Ooh, victory card. Wow. And again, that Ace of Cups in reverse. So, first card up. Okay, so this is pertaining to your work, your career. So, it looks like you've been, for some of you, you've really been in a situation where you've been feeling trapped. You've been feeling stifled. You can't really use your creative abilities to the extent that you would like to. Um, <clears throat> and so... The eight in reverse, the eight of swords in reverse, to me means that um, you're going to start feeling more free. You're going to start feeling like that situation um, is coming to an end. And, and it may have already happened because right now this is more in the present uh, position. And remember, time is kind of fluid, so, you know... For some of you, this may not have happened yet, but it looks like right now, uh, Six of Staves is about victory. It's about getting the recognition that you wanted. Some of you may be getting a promotion. Some of you, um, if you've started a new business recently, you may have just gotten some new clients. Um, you may have just gotten, you know, maybe some testimonials or you know, somebody just complimented you on your work. So you're starting to get some recognition. And in the near future, the Ace of Cups again in reverse. Now, I, I would say, uh, Cancer, because this has come up again. Um, I would say that for some of you, this is a pattern with you, is that you have a really hard time receiving recognition and love and gratitude from people. I would say that this is more of a pattern because it showed up in both your love reading and your career and work reading. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say this is a pattern that you need to work on cancer. Is, is just being able to receive and being able to actually look at the positive side of what's going on. Because if you have a hard time receiving, if you are always kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, um, that's a pattern that's within you and you will actually create situations that will reflect you know, whatever the belief is that you hold about that. So, and there you have it, uh, Cancer. Um, and by the way, I do want to say that um, I do have uh, my special for, for this month. It's a, what's called the money map. So, if you're having money issues, this is great for you. The money map is where... It's, it's a full one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, and this is where we take a look at the five kinds of money that are in your life. So we're going to look at your savings, um, your current income, and we're also going to look at any money trauma that you may have, you know, past trauma around money, something that is still affecting you now and is blocking you from having the numbers that you want in your savings and your checking account, for example. And we're also going to look at your debt and any specific trauma that you may have around setting goals 
in your money and your finances because this could really be keeping you in a, a very negative pattern with money. So I'm going to put the links below this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel and you might also want to uh, subscribe on my website which is www.dawnpreolette.com so that you can get notifications directly to your email box. Okay, so that's it, Cancer. Again, um, I will see you next month. My name is Dawn Priolette.